arm brace off because I am a broken human. Un momento. Sweaty. So. Good morning. So I thought that I would do a video of different ways that I style my hair as it's growing out. So this is, let's see, it is June. So we are at about month eight of growing out uh, from a buzzed head. So I am uh, getting to the point where I have hair. I haven't cut it uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. So I think my last haircut was in February. Um, and then Cody, my husband has been touching up the back so it's not too mullety. And he's just taking clippers to it uh, to touch it up and you know make sure it doesn't get too long in the back while the top grows out. Uh, so it's actually looking pretty good yeah. considering I haven't had a haircut in so long, uh, but I'm getting to the point where I do have to style it. Uh, it doesn't just do whatever it wants anymore like it did when I had it shaved. So I thought I would show some of the ways that I style it to sort of fake um, more vintage-y hairstyles until I get to the point where I can do like a proper wet set and brush out, which will probably be another six months or so before it's like ready for that. Um, so this first one I'm going to do is going to be a sort of faux poodle do. Usually a poodle do is done with long ringlets and then you brush it up and put all the curls at the top of your head. Obviously I don't have anything to uh, brush up. So basically what I do is I section out a piece and leave this down and sort of back. If you don't like the way that down and back looks, you can put a scarf over it. That definitely works. Um, I don't really mind the way it looks to be perfectly honest. So I'm just going to leave it without a scarf. Plus it's quite warm uh, in Colorado recently. So I, the scarf just is an extra layer of, uh, of fabric that I don't need. Um, so that's the first one I'm going to do. I'm going to do that today. Um, I washed my hair this morning. So I wash my hair once a week, um, usually on Fridays. It's Friday. Uh, so I just washed my hair, got out of the shower. My hair's still relatively damp, like damp-ish. So it's actually a little bit drier than I usually do with this poodle do, but I'm hoping that helps it dry quickly um, so I can actually wear it today. Usually I shower at night and then style it um, before I go to bed and sleep in pin curls, but I went on a hike this morning, didn't feel like doing it last night, knew I would be washing my hair this morning, so decided just to do that. Um, I think what I'm going to do so I'm not wasting hairstyles is record this over over a series of days so it will be actually the style I'm wearing for that day and I'm going to do four styles I think that might change I might cut this out who knows it'll change and I won't cut it out we'll see uh, so yeah here we go uh, so for this style I use a lot of mousse I just use Tresemme I've heard it's bad for your hair but my hair is perfectly healthy and I've been using it for years so I'm gonna keep doing it um, but I just use trust me mousse and I use quite a bit because my hair is very, very thick. There's not a lot of it lengthwise, but it is really thick. Um, I focus on the top bits since those are the bits that are going to need, you know, to be curled and to hold. Um, but I run it through everything and that does redampen it quite a bit. So that is helpful for that need. And then... I have my rat tail comb that just helps with sectioning and keeping everything nice. And basically I'm gonna section it here, and brush that back and kind of ignore it for a bit and then try to get it even. But this is definitely a messy poodle do. It is not a perfectly coiffed, you know, Lucille Ball poodle do by any stretch of the imagination. My hair is just not long enough to do those perfect curls. Um, so yeah, I, my forehead looks so big right now, but it's not that big, like it's not small, but it's not huge. Anyways, so I have this sort of section of hair and then I'm gonna work from the back forward. I find that easier for curling. I'm less likely to um, trap old curls in new pin curls, if that makes sense, if I do it from the back forward. So I just brush everything forward. 
and then start sectioning. So now that my hair is long, I can start the curls pretty far back. Um, when it was shorter, because obviously the top is a little bit longer, um, I had like this little tiny poodle do and I've been slowly able to move it backwards. So I can start my curls pretty far back now. And it's really simple. I just take a section, brush it up like this, pull out, I forgot to pull out, pull out my clips. So I have my hair clips. I don't use bobby pins because they're a pain in the butt. Um, I just have these clips, they're pin curl clips. They're really easy to use uh, and find. I think I probably bought mine on Amazon, but these are definitely available at Sally's um, or whatever beauty supply place you go to. Um, they're used for tons of things. So unlike my uh, Marcel clips, which I will show when I do my Marcel or finger waves, um, those are much harder to find. These are everywhere. So I just pin a pin curl. Now I, like I said, I like my poodle do kind of messy. Um, I very rarely go for like a 1950s aesthetic anymore. Um, which this is definitely a 50s look. Um, so I think the messiness modernizes it a little bit. It might not, um, and that might just be, be me being lazy. Um, but so I don't worry about the uniformity of my pin curls or the size. The biggest thing is I just want them tight enough that I get a curl, um, but not too tight because if they're like little tiny ringlets, they will never dry. Um, and end up being super crunchy. It is the unfortunate thing about the Tresemme mousse is it's definitely a crunchy mousse, um, but my hair is obstinate and so it needs that kind of hold. Um, a setting spray or setting lotion just doesn't have enough hold for me. I wish it did. Um, sometimes when I'm doing a wet set, I can get away, when my hair's longer, I can get away with just a um, setting spray, but usually even then I do a mousse. And then um, as I'm brushing it out, it brushes out any crunchiness. So it's still nice to touch. So I'm just doing these pin curls, like I said, haphazard. Um, I try to curl them different directions. So when I pull them out and when I'm styling, um, they're, you know, random. I don't want them to be super uniform. So just, finishing these bad boys up. I hope the lighting's not too bad out here. It's just so gorgeous that I wanted to sit outside. Plus I'm hoping it'll help these dry pretty quickly. So again, I can use them today. Um, usually my poodle do looks better the second day. I can get it to last about five days usually. Um, four, five is a bit of a stretch. Um, and I just recurl it. Uh, repin it before bed and usually actually do a smaller curl than I had done originally. These are pretty big. When they're wet, they're easier to work with when they're big. Um, but as I make it, um, as I redo it, I don't re-wet them at night. I just recurl and then put a satin headscarf on um, overnight and that keeps it nice and then the next day they've just relaxed a little bit I find the second or third day of pretty much any set looks better um, and it, those natural oils in your hair also helps especially since this is being done right after I shower so that's all of them together that one's shiny that's gonna get warm so like, like I said, it's a messy uh, pin curl for sure, but that's the point. Don't stress out. That's what it's supposed to look like. So I'll just get everything else back here looking relatively nice. And then I'm going to wait for this to dry. I'm going to water some plants um, in our garden because I have not done that yet today. And then we will come back once it's dry and I will show you how I actually style it once it's time to get
Okay, so we're dry. Um, yeah, okay, so let's pull these bad boys out. My little baggie. It's really cute and aesthetic, so be jealous. Also, you might be able to hear my neighbor's chickens in the backyard. I do live in Denver, like in the city. My address is in Denver, Colorado, but it's still kind of a cow town, so there are chickens. And I am trying to get my parents to get chickens. Because how adorable would that be? Plus, it's not like I'm doing anything else, so I can take care of some chickens. We'll see if that actually happens. I think I have to actually build the coop for them though, so I might not be capable of that. Okay, all the pin curls are out. So you can see they're still here, they're still curled. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is brush them and sort of recurl them over my finger. These are actually still a bit damp. I maybe should have waited a little bit longer, but I was bored. Um, so I'm just gonna brush them all out, separate them a little bit. Usually I don't um, use bobby pins to pin the curls down, but my hair is quite um, clean, so it doesn't hold the curl especially well, even with all that mousse in there. Uh, so I think I'm still, I'm going to bobby pin the curls down um, just to make them hold a little bit better. So now that they're all brushed out, you can see they're pretty big. They're not separated yet, but I'm going to work from the front back this time. I have my Suavecita pomade. Um, I love this stuff. I love their brand. Um, I use their hairspray as well when I use hairspray. I don't for this uh, hairstyle. I just don't need it. Um, but I just rub it on my hands and run it through the curl and then brush it through again because that'll knot it up. And then I keep my bobby pins in a Lexapro bottle, an old Lexapro bottle, because mental health is funny, I guess. I have to pick up my prescription today. I hope I don't forget. Uh, so, brush that out. And then just curl it over my finger, kind of place it in a good general place and then pin. Um, I use blonde bobby pins because they hide a little bit better than brown ones in ginger hair. Um, and my hair is quite light now. It's not usually this orange, um, but I'm switching it up for quarantine because why not? No one sees me anyways. Well, you guys will now but generally no one sees me. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through and pin all these up. I might time lapse this if this gets boring, we'll see. Um, and then after they're all pinned, um, I'm not gonna hairspray. Again, I don't use hairspray all that often. Um, just don't like the crunchy feeling. I'll use it if I've done a wet set. Um, because then I'll probably brush it out uh, and get rid of that crunchiness. I think I'm gonna separate this curl because it's quite large. I'm gonna separate it into two pin curls just to give it a little bit more depth. And like I said, this is not a real poodle do by any stretch of the imagination. I just don't have the hair for it. Um, but it looks cute. It looks vintagey um, and it lasts for like four days. So that's exciting. And if I'm too lazy to do my hair, it only takes maybe five minutes once um, the original set is done. And most likely tomorrow, I won't even have to pin it because um, it'll be dirtier. I'll have worked in it all day and then slept on it. Um, so there will be more grime in there to help hold the already existing curl. Um, my hair, when it's long, has like just a very, very minor wave to it. It's pretty straight and pretty thick. So um, it doesn't want to be curled. So it doesn't hold the curl very well. But 
that's about that. Hairstyle two is going to be a Marcel wave or a finger wave, depending on who you are in my TikTok comments. Um, you may be mad at me for calling them Marcel waves, but that is a perfectly legitimate thing to call them. Not that I'm bitter. Everyone's mad comments on my TikTok did get that TikTok to like 2 million views. So eat it. Anyways, um, I started doing Marcel waves or finger waves um, where my hair started getting long enough because you can really do it at almost any length. As long as your hair is long enough to lay down flat, you can do this style. I haven't done it with long hair before. Um, I feel like it would probably be much more difficult, but with short hair, this is actually a really easy um, style. The hardest thing is finding the clips. These are Marcel clips. Uh, these are actually pretty cheap ones. Uh, the quality is not amazing, but they are what I could find. Uh, Sally Beauty used to sell Marcel clips or wave clips, you might see them called, um, but they discontinued them at the beginning of 2020 and I haven't been able to find them in stores since. So I bought these ones off of Amazon. Um, they were not even prime. They took forever to get here. And like I said, they're pretty cheap, but they do the job. Um, I would recommend looking on Amazon. There's some beauty supply wholesalers that sell them, but oftentimes you need a license, which obviously I don't have um, to get them because they're like a beauty supply product. So that's where I get these. This is the most difficult part of this whole hairstyle. So basically what I'm gonna do is put a ton of mousse in my hair. The last hairstyle, the, the poodle do, was all about, I said, you know, I don't like to use too much hairspray because I try, you know, to keep things like touchable and soft and smooth. Uh, that's not this hairstyle at all. This hairstyle is crunchy, it is crisp, it is slick to your head, so no one could run their hands through your hair even if you wanted them to. So I'm putting more mousse, now focusing on the back of my head because I did the front of my head pretty well and it is going to be like wet with mousse. It was already damp to begin with. Um, but this is gonna be like straight up slick with mousse. So now I'm gonna go back in and part it just wherever you like your part. Um, I like, like a pretty severe side part for this, but it's not super hard either way. And then you're gonna scooch everything back. So pull it all back like this this all back and then you're gonna add your clips so um, one package of clips is enough to do my head I'm sure it's enough to do yours and you basically just clip it and you want to make sure that you get a good amount of hair between that clip so it creates a little ridge this is another hairstyle that I can get to last two to three days so that poodle do lasted me three days and I did not work very hard to maintain it, to be perfectly honest. I probably could have gotten a fourth day out of it if I had tried a little bit harder, uh, but I knew I was going to be doing this, so I didn't bother. This one, easily three days. I just sleep with a scarf in my hair. So then, for your next clip, you're gonna wanna pull everything forward, like this. And then just clip again. You can sort of start to create the wave with your comb, but for the most part, you just want everything forward and then you'll do the wave bit with the next clip. So just another clip. And then making sure, again, that you have that ridge. And then just do the same thing again. I'm gonna do this full side of my head and then go back and do this side because obviously, there's only gonna be like one more clip there. Um, I don't worry too much about the back because I can't see it and I don't care if other people can. Um, but this is definitely not like your perfect Marcel wave or finger wave. Um, it's definitely a layman's version and something that I can do very quickly while I'm getting ready. But do like that. And then I'm gonna do one more. Pulling forward. And I think what I'm gonna do is push this all back to finish. Sometimes I'll just finish here 
and then really like gel this down and create like a cute little wave here. Um, but for today, I want something a little bit more practical. This just gets finicky um, and I'm gonna be like doing some other projects, so. One more here. I'm trying to keep them as evenly spaced as possible. But like I said, this is definitely not perfect. Um, finger waves are really interesting to me. They're one of the most universal hairstyles for like hair textures because it looks amazing whether you have like really straight white people hair or like extremely textured uh, black people hair. Um, and it ha Finger waves are something that are like really interesting to me because they have been universally loved since the jazz age. They were popularized by a French hairstylist who's sort of a hairstylist to the stars. Uh, one of the most famous women's hair that he did was Josephine Baker. She's very well known for her very tight French wave or finger wave. Um, and then Marcel clips, which is what these are, uh, were invented by a, um, a person that tried to make Marcel waves easier. A Marcel wave is traditionally done with an iron that looks kind of like a mixture of a flat iron and a curling iron. Um, and these clips just mimic that Marcel wave. Um, so if you're like a professional hairstylist, you, you probably learned in school that our Mar our Mar a Marcel wave has to be done with an iron, uh, but these Marcel clips are meant to mimic that without the need of heat. So I don't use any heat on this style. You can blow dry it to try to set it. Um, it is nearly 90 degrees out here, even though it is barely 9 a.m. So I'm going to, again, water the garden like I did last time um, and then come back when this is all dry. I did put a single clip in the back um, to sort of kind of connect these two. But like I said, this is in no way perfect. Um, it's going to be a little messy, of course, because that's how I do my hairstyles. One thing I do suggest is for areas like this where I just have like some baby hairs that are not quite long enough to hold, I'll use one of these pin curl clips that I used last time um, to just sort of keep it in place. There is a chance that it'll leave a little crease um, it depends on how wet your hair is. I think my hair is dry enough that it's not gonna leave too bad of a crease there. Um, and it'll keep all those baby hairs neat, which is my ultimate goal. So that's looking good. This will take a while to set up to get perfectly dry. Um, I may edit for a bit while I wait for this to dry. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going it to help you garden to and we'll come back. Feeling alone, make you feel happy, remind you of home. Okay, so this bad boy's been dry for a little bit, actually. I got distracted with editing. So I'm gonna pull the clips out, hairspray the heck out of it, and call it good. So you can see what I was talking about with those ridges. Those are very uh, symbolic of the finger waves of the time, I guess classic. They, you can see there is a bit of a crease here. I'm not too worried about it. No one's gonna know. If you really care, a, a little bit of tissue paper folded up underneath that pin curl clip would prevent that. But you guys are the only people that are going to be seeing me for the foreseeable future because I am still sheltering in place because of the pandemic. So there's, I'm not too worried. So you can see those ridges turned out super cute. I'm gonna pull the one from the back of my head. That's basically it. I am gonna hairspray because I want this to last a couple days. So I just use White Rain Drugstore. Spray the heck out of it and call it good. Uh, this is this style. The next one I'm going to do is a sort of like bouffant style. So as of right now, you guys are gonna see it in a couple seconds. I'm gonna wait probably three days until I actually do it so I can get as much life out of this guy as possible. My third hairstyle is going to be a faux bouffant beehive thing. Obviously, I do not have the hair for a proper beehive. However, I do have a lot of hairspray 
a comb, and a will. So, what I like to do for this one is spray the heck out of my hair. This is quite dirty hair at this point. It is Tuesday and I washed it on Friday. So we're getting to the end of its lifespan at this point. Um, because I've bleached my hair recently, uh, before I was red, um, my hair is a little damaged. It's not terrible, but when I get a few days in, my hair has a lot of grip just because of the bleach damage combined with the dirt in it. So I just add a little bit of hairspray and then I kind of start, obviously I want it to be up because it's a beehive. And I'm just gonna start like sort of at the back of the crown of my head and tease the heck out of it. I don't tease my hair all that often. Um, Mostly because I like it to last a couple more days and I usually, just with sleeping and stuff, a teased hairstyle, this is only gonna last a day. Uh, and I'll have to take it out with conditioner tomorrow because it's just so up that when I sleep on it, it goes all funny, which I might sleep on it anyways and then just wash it tomorrow. But you can see, because it's pretty dirty, it already has quite a bit of volume just from that little bit of teasing. And, I don't have that much hair. You can you can pretty easily see that, but I'm gonna get a lot of volume out of this anyways. So just teasing the heck out of it. And then with this last bit, I only tease the back. So the front stays nice and smooth and pretty. And then just brush up and over. So I look a little bit like a crazy rock star or the heat miser right now, but I have that really nice volume. And then I'm just gonna smooth this stuff back. I think I'll use a little bit of pomade just to make everything one shape, one cohesive idea. Now, like I said, this is not a real beehive. It's real messy in the back. Um, not Amy Winehouse or anything, but you get a good amount of volume and you don't really need a bobby pin. You could bobby pin just a little bit back here, but with how short my hair is, I'm not I'm not gonna need to. In a couple of months when my hair is longer and I do this style, I will sort of take all this back and then just pin it so it's one cohesive form. But after I do that, I just take a scarf. This is one I got in a bundle on Etsy. It's my favorite. Uh, it's long and skinny, which I like a lot because I don't have to deal with any extra bulk of a square scarf that I fold down. So I'm just gonna fold this in half and hide all of my sins. And then I can do a bow in front sometimes too. But then I have that little bit of volume, just tuck all of this back and spray it. I think I'm gonna tuck my ears in so I don't look too much like a pirate. There. And then, yeah, it's like a little faux beehive. Okay, final hairstyle. This is one that I find to be really easy. It's good for clean hair. Most of my styles are not. So this one, I washed my hair last night. Today is Saturday. And this one is really good for clean hairstyles and super simple. So the first thing I do, and I do this whenever my hair is clean, I'm going to put some almond oil in my hair. It keeps it a little less dry because I have bleached it. Uh, it gives it a little bit more moisture and keeps some of my flyaways away especially since my hair has not been professionally cut in four-ish months now. Um, it helps keep it, you know, there's lots of different layers of hair happening that I just want slicked back for this. So helping with that. Then, handy dandy mousse. There's so much mousse in my hair by the end of the week, it's insane but it does help with some of those styles. So taking a lot of mousse, gonna work from the back forward. This one has a lot of mousse, not quite as much as the um, finger waves or Marcel waves, but close to it. So 
running that through. My hair is really damp right now. I just got out of the shower. So it's definitely like super, super damp, which is helpful for this. But there's not like a drying process. Once this is done, it's done, which is very nice. So then I'm just gonna take my comb again and just slick it back. Super easy. This, when I was blonde, I called it the Draco Malfoy because this is what his hair looks like in the first couple movies. Just slicked back. Um, usually it'll just dry flat for me. Sometimes if I'm doing this right before bed, I'll wrap it with a satin scarf or a silk scarf that just helps keep everything flat and tight to my head so it doesn't sort of grow as the day goes on. And then I'll unwrap it when it's dry and it'll just be plastered to the back of my head. You can do this with a part. My hair has a lot of volume though. So if I try to part it, it gets weird. It doesn't get as flat as I want it to. So I try to just keep it straight back because that's the most manageable way that I do it. And then I'm gonna take some pomade, my Suavecita pomade that I'm actually running low on. I'm gonna need to get more. Um, using quite a bit, because again, this is gonna be slicked to my head. And just <laughs> plaster that back. That's nice and tight. Also, what's that girl from The Matrix? Kind of like her. Kind of like a 90s does cottage core going on today. I don't know, I think it's cute though. So it doesn't have to make sense, right? And then I'll brush it through again. I like the comb marks. I think it looks more like vintagey that way. Like you can imagine Hercule Perot slicking down his hair and then combing through it to give him those nice marks. But you don't have to. You can just go over it with your hands and sort of smooth out those marks if you like. So yeah, that's that one. Super simple. It's an easy one, keeps all your hair in place. And I think it looks kind of cute and vintagey. A little more men's weary, which I am into, even though I'm wearing a cute dress that shows off my boobs real nice. If you guys liked this video, please do like and comment and subscribe down below. This is a new channel. So anything you can do to get me out there definitely helps. I would love to hear where you found me from. So if you found me on TikTok or Instagram or Reddit, wherever you found me, do, 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 please uh, hit me up. Let me know where you found me from so I can see uh, where people are finding me because this is new. And I think that's all I have to say. So have a lovely day, guys. I hope you can take care of the wind, you're feeling alone.